Hello, I'm back. Okay, um, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue working in my um, MXX, MSX project, um, which is called um, which is in Gamma. I've been um, I've been working on this one uh, a while now, um, but I didn't have a chance to actually record the session, so I guess. Um, yeah, I will. I will try to explain some things as as I go as I start working today, um, uh, on on what I plan to do today, um, and hopefully it will be interesting. Okay, so where are we at the moment? Uh, well, at the moment, um, <clears throat> I've been continuing working on the engine, and um, I think um, what I'm trying to do. Well, I'm trying to do a different. Um, and the approach in this game is a little bit different than what I usually do. Um, this time what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to finish um, stage one completely um, uh, hoping that that will finish uh, the engine um, although I will need to add new enemies and stuff um, but I will do that later when I'm working on the next on the next stages um, usually what I do is I, I design all the enemies um, and I basically do everything related to the engine, so I have, um, let's say, the full game without the level design, and I do the level design and the music and a few things at the end. But in this case, um, I think uh, because of the type of the game, um, <clears throat> I assume that um, if I have, for example, now I know who I'm going to how I'm going to uh, code. Uh, the the big enemies at the end of the stage, uh, the boss, uh, basically. So now that I have one of them done, uh, it should be quite a straightforward to make more uh, because I know how to do it. You know, this this project is a little bit um, exploring and a little bit of research and doing some um, you know discovery because few of the things I'm trying to do, I don't know if I can do them uh, with the MSX. So well, I'm I'm just trying and see what happens. And um, at the same time that I'm trying, basically, my idea is that if I get to the end of stage one uh, with everything in place, um, well, you know, I proved that at least I can do what I'm trying to do and I can continue and um, and add more stages until the game is finished. So um, since the last time that I uh, introduced a project, a few things have changed. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's take a look what we have here, which is basically I have almost completed the uh, stage one so I'm going to be running this on 60 Hertz uh, because um, although the game would play and sound just fine in PAL <clears throat> I think that yeah NTSC is more restrictive because I have less time to do things so if it plays smooth uh, in NTSC I assume that it's going to work fine in, in PAL so well, there are a few, few differences since the last time, I think. Um, one of them is... Well, there's music and sound effects. That's a big one. I think I haven't changed much in the scroll and most of the giant. Um, I have introduced uh, different types of weapons and um, I've been adjusting with, uh, with those. Um, uh, because yeah, I tried first and it was they were too powerful. And I want to have uh, a number of different, I think six different uh, weapons, and um, yeah, I need to adjust because they basically they add firepower basically. So if the first level is to you know the first weapon is too too strong, then I got say for example this is a pickup, then I got. Another weapon that is slightly faster. Um, they also have other properties like uh, different levels of damage. Although most of the enemies on this stage is basically they have one hit. So, um, so another thing that I have introduced now that is new is as you can see um, on the screen uh, in the hood on the on the left is that there is a, a chain indicator. That means that shows how many enemies, how many kills you have in a row, let's say. Uh, there is a timer with a delay, so if you don't get to 9, 
then the timer resets and you need to start counting again. So, oh, also, <laughs> when you lose one life, you the, the, the weapon you have is downgraded one level, so you go to the previous weapon. Um, so basically, yes, you need to do those chains. And uh, <clears throat> and when you get to the to nine chains, uh, to nine kills in the same, you know, in a short period of time, then that enemy will drop a pickup. That it will be a power up, then it will be a nova bomb, then a power up, nova bomb, so and so forth. So that is working. That's new. And I also have the end boss for this stage, and have almost everything is in place. I think the level is more or less balanced. Um, I may need to tweak, yeah, because I want to make the first level kind of easy to play, not too difficult. Um, so at the moment, you know, there is a lot of stuff. For example, this business here, this has to go away because this is kind of hard coded for the first stage, but different stages will have different. So I need to harness that later. But for now, what I want to do is when we get to the stage complete here, um, <clears throat> I would like to show I would like to show some stats because well it's a shooter so uh, a shooter is the this type of game is a game that plays very well with the score it's a score competition right so um, I mean already I'm forcing the player to do some things uh, for example you probably want to wait a little bit uh, to not kill the enemies too quickly so there are more enemies on screen and you have more chances to get uh, nine kills in a row so you get a chain and you get a pickup um, so that's already one element of the game that is going to you know it's going to affect the gameplay because you're going to you want to kill enemies uh, you know making those chains so you can uh, get the pickups otherwise your weapon is too too um, is too weak and also because the chains give you better score so if you want to get a higher score then you want to do that so another thing I, I thought uh, we could add is some some stats um, that I think we are going to add because it's going to be per stage so we can add them here for example so the stats I think we could add here is uh, the number of uh, enemies we kill so we can show a percentage at the end maybe that could be interesting uh, or maybe you know this number of kills or that many that's also it was probably better so you know how many you left um, and then I can give bon I can provide some bonus for example of for I don't know maybe the percentage or maybe you kill them all you know that's perfect you get extra score maybe um, another one is uh, it could be the name the number of times we die or maybe no death okay no death I think it's probably better so if you don't get killed then you get a bonus and um, and also we could count for example the number of of uh, the number of chains that you get so those are three things that we can use for for a score right so let's see we can add that when we uh, start the game so well I mean this is a little bit hmm also it's a bit this is a little bit wrong because uh, oh there's a lot of stuff here that I need to wrap somehow because it's going to be you know the, the stuff I'm going to in it here is going to be like that per stage so this will change but for now we're going to set all this to zero. Uh, that, by the way, we probably, um, I probably need to change this um, eventually because this this here is quite expensive when we generate this in C. Uh, sorry, in in set eighty in assembler um, because it needs to you know move everything into you know load this into this memory drive, load zero into this memory drive. 
and and we have a lot of things that we need to set to zero it's better to put that those things in like here see so dirty hat is the first variable we're going to init and then with memset basically what we do is we set to zero uh 12 bytes which is probably the end of the score so that's the most more efficient way of doing it but for now because you know yeah, i will have a round of optimizations and you know clean up things but when you're testing you probably don't want to spend too much time with that business really um so yeah those are the variables we need to to check um so um where do we want to have um where do we want to have uh, those variables right so no death is going to be set to one um, when we are killed and that it happens in player hit so player hit basically if you get hit you lose a light then we tell the hood that is dirty and we need to update yeah because um yeah for performance reasons what i usually do is i have a variable here that has um Ooh, that I have here. So this is a bit base uh, flag. So bit, bit bit zero, bit one, bit two, so so on. So basically, all the bits on is we need to redraw everything. Otherwise, it's just the bits that change. In this case, is life. You know, we lost the life, so we need to change that part in the hot. So and we want to minimize the amount of stuff we write per frame, so we don't waste time with that. So in here, I will say that this uh, basically, um, well, no death, it should be one, but it's probably better. Okay, so can we change this? Death, maybe, okay. So I, I, I can change the sign of the, which is probably better than initializing to zero. So yeah. Okay, let's make it like this, so I remember <laughs> what it is in case this spread takes too long, right? So, so start um, deaths. That is going to be one. So it means that you're not getting the perfect. I could be saying, you know, perfect instead. Anyway, stat death is just fine. So that means that you die, you 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 died, so you don't get that bonus. And then the number of chains. Well, let's look at the chains first. So the chains are. So if we go to the pickup, is the pickup. So obviously when we generate a pickup is because we have a successful chain, right? Because that's when we spawn a pickup. But we want to see uh, when we spawn the pickup. And the pickup gets spawned at the end of the explosion effect, which is a regular effect. So, and we have a parameter here, then yeah, we spawn new pickup from it. And I think we're going to we're going to put it here because it's probably cleaner. So start. So we put you know one more, and you're going to get the score because spawning does, right? It's not. We don't really care about picking up the pickups, uh, <clears throat> but we want to know that you know we successfully made a change. Right now the kills, <clears throat> the kills we can kill enemies in two places. One of them is one of them <clears throat> is here when we run the Nova effect. See the Nova effect is quite simple. It's just this book of here. <laughs> it's the effect, and then we draw a line. 
doing a backup and that's why you see that that thing crossing the screen that's another bomb it's very simple it's just a book up it's just a book up. uh it's just a loop um right so i think yeah it's here you know if it's not an enemy but if it's an enemy including the boss yeah we're going to include the boss no i don't know let's see all right so he's here when we kill the character sorry the enemy the entity and for the boss we can never destroy the boss with a nova bomb uh, that's a rule i have because the boss gets destroyed in a different way and it generates a lot of explosions and it's quite tricky so i decided that um, well you can't so that's how it works for now i mean i might change my mind later but so um, that kills right so that's content kills that's this is one place and the other one is in the code that is processing the bullets so the bullets has bullet versus boss that's another one bullet versus enemies so here that's the impact new so here is when we destroy it yeah that's it see there is one type of uh, player uh, bullets that don't 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 get destroyed when you hit an, an enemy so that's the most powerful uh, weapon that goes through the enemy so with one bullet you can <laughs> kill a lot of things easily right so with this we have death count the kills and the chains so right so okay so we can actually test this so we have a sign here with a stage clear that at the moment it doesn't do anything it just does take stage clear the waste a little bit right so with the stage clear message, we're going to wait a little bit for now. I don't have a, uh, I don't have the music for this, but they should be, you know, playing some sort of tune. I'm not sure what to do, but you know, stuff like that. Um, but I, I'm not sure. I may need to have uh, the music of the menu so I can use some variation of that. But I'm not completely sure. I might just do that. Uh, yeah, do, 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 something like that, you know, like a stage clear kind of music. Um, and then, uh, so this is probably in the middle of the screen, but we need to go a little bit up now. And then it's just basically put things here. So, so we can just place, oh, we can place the stuff that we want to print. Uh, so little space and then this can be so what are the variables we have I don't remember um, all right so stats 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 so one of them is how do we call that no death, perfect. <laughs> uh, or maybe I'm not sure. I mean, I like I would. My idea was to show always the same stuff. Like uh, I don't know, no, no death. We can do this. No death. Then, uh, then we can do. This is probably not centered anyway. So, chains. 
Mm, what I want. How do I? Oh no. Oh, sorry. I don't know why, why I wrote chains. Did I write chain? Oh, it's the asterisk. All right. Oh man, I just lost that. Uh, anyway, this is in bullet, so we were back to main. Okay, so I use the asterisk instead of X. So the number of chains, and then what is more important? We not that first, then then probably. Yeah. Not the first, then then probably kills. <laughs> kills. Is that a good name? Mm. Or how do, how do, what is what what is commonly used in here? It's like clear. Yeah, but it's stage clear, so it's not clear, right? Uh, oh, completed, maybe? Um, I'm not sure if I like no death. We can do this. We can just make it a... Uh, so we can do 12, 13. Uh, 15 <laughs> something like this right um, yes I think that will work if either or not that right and I'm going to put it like this because we need to add some score no death. Perfect. Yeah. Hmm. Right. So, and we probably need to put some pause in between those. Like, I don't know. Ah, uh, this is going to play like, it's going to have some effect, like a beep effect. Um, do I have that? Um, play. Uh, yeah. Oh no. Do I have any effect? Yeah. So something like this. Um. Yeah. We're going to play to use this, but later. Okay. So start start death. If. We didn't die then not it not that perfect we can use the pickup zone for example why not um then completed right do, do, do. okay so completed then a number of chains is the same size um so let's do some calculations on where we're going to place that so so the screen is 32 so that's 16 minus the length of completed so that is centered but then we have the space and probably 3 so that's 9 all right, so we're going to put this in nine. No, that's why we want x just nine, nine, and then <clears throat> then we want to do the same thing for not death. Perfect. So we can put that center. So that is seven. Excellent. So that's seven. Okay. So that would put things more or less center. <clears throat> now, for completed, we 
we're going to go with percentage I guess so I'm going to need a variable here in the stack do I need a variable in the stack I use okay so here I have few few things uh, so I have a huge tile set here because I am compressed the tile sets into the sorry a huge buffer because I am compressed the tiles in here so I could be using that as a buffer or I can use the the space I use for the map or the buffer but not so there are like a lot of things that I can use so I don't need to allocate a new a new buffer we can use buffer for example um, why do I need that because I need to do I need to See, I can use that when I'm drawing the hat because it will break things. But I can go here and I can do so completed. So we can do so. Oh, ITK. Do you remember for my specky game? That's a global variable I have everywhere. Um, that I use to just to avoid having local variables because that's expensive. It's just I think it is because I started using that as part of uh, when I'm iterating on the entities. So I call it it because I use that prefix for all the variables, and it just I left it there. As simple as that. Right. So what I'm going to show here. Okay, so I thought initially to use, uh, okay, so I, did, I don't know if I want to use the percentage or I want to show how many kills. Because the problem with the percentage is that you really don't know how many enemies you missed, right? You know what is the percentage, but you missed 10%. Um, that doesn't really help you to know how many enemies you killed, really. So... So what can we do here is actually we can use um, stat kills. We don't know how many, but I assume that more than three digits is probably crazy. And we're going to put this on so so this is going to be oh no stuff animal oh i had that on my buffer well you know it's complicated i'm not going to explain that uh so what do i do all right so i can do uh no what i'm doing this all right so this is seven, eight nine ten So that's 19 plus 1, 20. And then I'm going to put the B. So this basically is going to increment. And we need to play a sound effect that I think, I think, I think that I have a bleep. Yes, I have a bleep. So I'm going to use that. So mm -mm, sound effect bleep. And and we want to wait a frame maybe, or wait a little bit so it doesn't sound like um, too quick, something like this. So this is going to increment the stat kills, right? So every time we do that, we're going to uh, add score how much per kill um, let's say we can have a hundred per kill then dirty hood is going to be why do I do that okay so basically you don't want to increment it so basically have a variable that is add score if you say that to the hot that the score is dirty what it does it increments the score at that point and that is because in the same frame, few things could happen at the same time, and you don't want to update the hood few times in the same frame. So you basically add more to that score, and that's it. So basically, you draw things once. So this should 
play the effect, um, increase the, the score, wait some seconds and keep going. So they will, this will sh show the number of kills, but we don't know, this is the number of kills, but we don't know how many, right? Oh. I don't know how to say that. Completed, completed means that, um, yeah, you need to know how many are left, right? So we can increase that, and instead of showing, uh, instead of showing <clears throat> how many when when it's actually drawing that, it's better to show the number increase and then a slash and say, say show how many are left. So um, we can, for example. I mean, I'm putting three zeros because we still don't know how many enemies we have to kill in one stage. We need to change the map so it includes a define in the generated data so we know. At the moment, there's no way to know that. So this is going to be, the text is going to be, why is this x, y, 12, yeah. So it's going to be 20 and 3. So it's going to be 23, I guess. This is probably wrong. I'm very bad doing numbers in my head so you know it could be zero of zero that's fine then we have a wait and then for the number of chains I guess we're going to do the same um, because chains is also a nine so this is going to be exactly the same I can guarantee that you're not going to have three chains it's not going to happen and yeah, 100 points per chain, maybe. I can change that later, I guess. So, right. So we've been writing a lot of code without even compiling. And ob obviously, it's, this is just a mess. So, what do you do? Oh, because I called that B and we agree that we're going to use the buffer, right? So, um, so we're going to use the buffer and then the buffer again, and there's another buffer here. So that should compile now. Yeah, it compiles. Um, okay, so we can try this. But uh, we need to get to the end of the stage. Um, do we need to get to the end of the stage? We can fake this. Uh, we can go to the script here. That is um, basically... So there is an entity that is end of map, 255. And then that triggers the boss. Hmm, how can we end this sooner? Um, oh, I know what we're going to do. So, I don't remember. So I wrote that code like yesterday or two days ago. And now I don't remember how it works. So I think there is something here that is a stage complete. Yes. So stage complete, we're going to set that to, so this is basically what we need to do. And I have some stuff here for testing the weapons. Oh man. And we're going to repurpose that to just Mm -hmm. Just like this, and we probably don't need this, so we can come in that. So now we can run it, and when we press backspace, it should end the, the stage, and we should see the effect. Oh, nice.
Yeah, stage clear. Mm, not really, but close. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is not working. So let's go to run stage complete. So, uh, so complete that is 12. And then <clears throat> there was something funny here. It's not the stat kills, it's a stat. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, right. So let's run that again and just pay more attention to see what is wrong. Obviously, the alignment is not correct. We know that. See, I remember when I started priming, you know, I was 13 or something like that. And what I used to do is use pen and paper. And that works very well. <laughs> no death, perfect. So everything is okay. Yeah, but I don't do that anymore. So instead, what I do is just try and, and, and try again and try again, and then waste a lot of time. So let's change this a little bit. How do you assume? Um, well, okay, so. Well, we started with zero, right? So that would be kind of make sense in the same here. Actually, we can do this. I don't like that much because we still don't know how much we have here. I, I, we're going to change that anyway. So just to see how it looks. Yeah, that's perfect, and it's actually centered without <laughs> using paint or paper. Okay, cool. I'm going to do something. I'm going to get a little bit more value here for me because I don't even, I can't hear what I'm doing. I don't want that to get into the into the microphone, but I, I still need to know if it sounds or not. Yeah, I probably need to review that blip because it's too quiet. Uh, so yeah, this looks okay. So, um, but I think I'm going to move this up a little bit. So, stage complete is there and then Yeah. Another thing I probably need to do is all right. So for a stage complete, for a stage complete, we using the the same code that we using here, uh, which is the game board delay, uh, and that is too much. So a game of game over delay is too much. So. So let's do right to six, something like that. Copy this. And then sorry. Oh. Well, 
we'll use this now. And, and here, this is going to be now this. And somewhere, I'm setting a stage complete. And that somewhere, I believe, is in the bullet when it kills the could it be the bullet when it kills the yeah it's here <laughs> so <sighs> all right so that should be doing it should make that slow shorter i guess and boo, 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 boo. where are we going here? So, okay, I think this looks okay. Let's see. Now we don't have perfect. Well, <laughs> let me see if I don't die before. Actually, yeah, that's enough. Looks okay. Obviously, we're missing the music, and I mean that probably keeps a lot of effect. Let's see if we can make a change here. Um, not, not brilliant. So let's try again. See, that's one of the things that uh, you probably need to learn when you play the game. You need to wait until the enemies are on the screen because if you kill them too quick. See, I just did. You need to know where they're going to appear a little bit, and then okay, let's try. Try otherwise I would do the cheat or something. No. Yeah. So one thing you can do is basically um, wait until there are some enemies on the screen. So you have chances to kill nine in a row because otherwise otherwise you don't get the chain and if you don't get the chain and what we're testing is not going to work and it's not going to work anyway. yeah it depends on date sometimes So, stay clear. Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, we still need to know how many. I don't think there are more than 999 entities on the stage. But. Right. I mean, we know that the chains work because. I mean, we can try later. See if that. As you can see, I'm not very good playing my own games, but who cares? I'm not going to play my game. You are going to play my game. Hopefully. Um. Right. So yeah, I think start change is fine, and um. And I think. Uh, and I think we are in quick. Yeah, this is when we drop a pickup, so it looks like it's the right place. Um, so that should be fine. Now, one thing we need to do, and, and we need to change the map for that, is because we know we don't know how many entities we have. And looking at the code of the map, this is going to be quite easy because. So the types of entities we have currently is just enemies, 
minus the boss because the boss is not the entity in the map uh, the boss is triggered when we get to the end of the map so those are the types of enemy so if there is an entity it's going to be an enemy so we just need to count the number of entities i guess and that is going to be here so let me think i don't remember how this works so ets layer what does it have okay let's take a look to the json so the json has a lot of things so layers and so there's a layer that called data and then there is a layer called entities and it has objects so is objects what we want to count is objects so so we have ets layer and then objects <clears throat> Well, we can count it here, right? So we can say um, so. I mean, this is silly because if there is no entity layer, I still want the map to work for reasons. But you're probably not going to do anything if there are nothing ready to play against. So, so this is going to be the land of the entities layer. That's going to be the number of widgets. Why is complaining about that? Ah, oh, assigning the values. Ooh, interesting. Right, so here, so we have the size of the map, we have other things, so we can do. Uh, ooh, but then this is going to be different per map. So I need to think about that, but not today. So. We can say entities, and then just just the same scheme here. So the ID, oh, the ID, uppercase, and then it was n entities, right? Well, and that's it. So so this force that to be regenerated um, uh, and run it and it's what's going on is saying that not all arguments converted uh, what I'm not very good today with typing I think yes and it doesn't work now because in it, uh, it's been a long day and instead of doing this on my own I'm just talking to you which makes things slightly harder uh, okay um, so let's see whoa, whoa no no wait 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 what are we doing <laughs> that's not what we want what we want to do is in the generated data we have the stage now and the stage is telling me that there is 203 entities. Wow. So that's fine. I like that. Um, so if we use one byte here, right? So if we use one byte, we probably want to set a limit of the of the number of entities. So if we go over this, we know so we don't get problems when we go over the limit and we don't know and then things break and everything is complicated because we don't know what's going on. So this is uh, 
max number of entities in the map. So default is zero. So we go max entities, and this is just a check, right? So we get the number of entities if entities is bigger than zero uh, and is bigger than max entities then error mm. too many entities and we say that so everybody's happy we never get in the situation where we go over there we have a number film we don't know about it so so too many entities uh, entities and then ax max entities and then no data main file when we generate the map we're going to say max entities 255 so if there's a, if at some point i go crazy and i break this i break this it's not the problem anymore so we need to uh, i'm going to hard code this because ooh, I'm going to hard code this because for now it's fine. But eventually I will need to make some sort of integration here with a table because I'm going to have multiple maps because there are going to be more than one stage, right? But for now it's called map and map entities and that's fine and the buffer and then we're going to put this in 10 and then it's 18 19 20 21 22 so this should put the number of entities at the end Cool. Yeah, something like that, which is pretty much what I want to do today. So let's see how it looks. So this is the max entities, and this is including the number of entities. So I guess we can commit those two together. So and then the rest is probably okay but there is something we want we don't want to commit right which is which is the code to test i probably don't want to commit that does it really matter i mean i had already some testing code in there I think we can come with that for now. I mean, this is going, I would probably go and put this back if we want to test further, further right? So let's do it. Uh, so this is what we did today. So we changed the stage complete delay. And I will put that in a different commit, but it's probably okay. Then we got condo stats. Okay, wait. Let's give another chance. Let's give another chance to the chain because I didn't test that. Did I? Let's make a chain. Let's 
give another chance to change. Close, but no. This is awful. I mean, the weapon doesn't help either because. Yeah. So that's one of the things I was trying to adjust the other day. Um, because I want. I mean, I can explain you how, how it works, but you probably want to do this, right? And get a chain. Otherwise. You don't really... Anyway, so I need to adjust that. You probably should be able to get the first chain rather easy uh, because, you know, it's a mechanic of the game and you need to understand how it works, otherwise you won't be able to play the game properly. Um, so, yeah, I mean... It's not that bad, I guess, because you can still play the game. Um, it's just that it will be harder because uh, you didn't see that was eight. <laughs> so I mean, I've been counting the enemies, so you don't have the chains too easy. But just like that, it works. So you got the chains already, and a few kills. Try that. Oh well, that is moving because it stops there. That's a side effect of the trick we did. That's cool. I think it works very well. And we lost one life, so that's why we didn't get the perfect. Yeah, we probably need, probably need to think about the score um, and see if that's too much a score or not. But it looks great. It's quite satisfying. I think oh, you finish the stage. Because remember, I mean, we we just doing a test here, and I disabled some things, and now that I'm talking and not paying attention, I just got a chain. Excellent. Right. So, I mean, we have to take into account that this is what you're going to see at the end of the, of the stage, right? So, although the first stage, oh man, <laughs> although. Now I'm back to the shitty weapon. So nice, don't kill me. Right. So you're going to see this when you get to the end of the stage. So it will have some sort of, you know, it will be quite satisfying because the first stage should be reasonable. Um, I'm not saying easy, but not. Not too difficult, um, and then further on, yeah, it will be harder. So yeah, you still want to see something like that. That is like, oh, nice. So and also, yeah, I mean, because we're showing stats for the kills and the number of chains, it also helps you to, you know, it's a kind of chase score competition, even with yourself, because you have a high score, and then I don't know. I think that's something that you probably want to include in a shooter because that's one of the you know core uh, elements of, of that type of game right so yeah the delay the kills the chains this all looks okay this is a chunk of new code uh, the hack and yeah that's, this looks great so Yeah. So I think this is all for today. Um, it wasn't too bad. Um, I mean, it looks like a very simple, fun it's very simple functionality. But again, um, when I'm explaining things and um, and also you know the pressure of someone looking at what I'm doing, so I make more mistakes. Everything is slower, and it takes me longer. So let's say I don't know how how much time do I need to implement simple things like this when I'm recording a session. But yeah, that's probably one of the reasons why I'm, you know, on top of that, I don't always have time to set up the camera and make microphone and and put everything in place. And uh, and also, 
you know, I, I need some quiet time here uh, for myself so I can record these sessions. I not always have that time, but also it means that I'm making, you know, I'm, I'm working less on the game I'm working on because I need to explain a lot of things and I spend, I mean, I've been talking for one hour already. So, uh, yeah, that's one reason why I'm working more on the game and perhaps uh, recording less sessions. But anyway, that's how it's going to be. I mean, this is all a, an experiment. And although I enjoy uh, recording these sessions, yeah, I, I think I enjoy more making the games. <laughs> so I'm going to continue working on the games. And, you know, when I have timeline like today and there is something that it looks, um, the size is uh, reasonable and good enough, you know, then in that case, I will record a session. So this is all for today. I'm probably going to continue working on this game because I'm enjoying it quite a lot right now. Um, and it looks like it's going very well. Um, after finishing this, uh, adding a couple of songs, I think the first stage will be complete. Um, it can be tested by some people, some friends to see what they think about the game. And after that, it's just drawing more graphics and doing more more levels, design, uh, you know, new new stages and end of stage boss. Um, uh, you can see here that I'm doing quite well with the memory at the moment. So I'm aiming to use um, a 32K uh, cartridge or ROM. Although this game will probably load also from cassette, so I might think about releasing that in cassette if the publisher is keen on doing that. We'll see. Um, I mean, assuming there is a publisher, maybe, probably. Don't tell anyone, this is not confirmed yet. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, 32K for the ROM. So we still have here 13K. Um, Considering that the space left is mostly for adding new enemies, uh, graphics stage, yeah. the core of the game is done already. So I think I have enough space to include maybe five stages. I need to do some numbers and see how much I can fit in there. And yeah, and this one is using more memory than Nine Night. So, but I don't think I'm going to use more than this. Uh, it's very likely. The memory has been stuck in this amount for quite some time now, so it looks fine. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, to continue working on this game. I didn't, uh, I know, I don't forget uh, the Specky game. Uh, I also have other projects, probably too many, but yeah, one thing at a time. And, and let's see how far we get with this one until you know hopefully it's finished and uh released uh don't know when maybe this year maybe next year don't know anyway i think that's enough for today um i hope you enjoyed this session um, i mean the what we did is not it doesn't look that impressive at the end but you know programming is that's how it how it goes um you remember the session when we did that silly effect in the menu in the specky game it also took some time to implement that although you know it doesn't look like it's a lot um so that's how it goes i uh, hope you enjoy this session again um remember if you like it you may want to subscribe uh you can leave, leave uh, a comment uh if you want or discuss something or suggest anything i would you know respond to that comment uh and if there's something i want to mention in the next video I might include that comment and, and mention that. And I think that's all. Bye.